Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at this Casio Sapphire with the reference number LTP-E148L-7AEF. This piece is what I would say a hidden gem from Casio. I happened to chance upon this watch while browsing for some affordable watches to buy. When I first saw this watch, the first thing that came into my mind is no moss. This piece here does not really look like something you would expect from Casio, but here it is. The watch has a case diameter of 40mm, the thickness is about 7mm, the lug to lug distance is 46.5mm and it has a 22mm lug width. The case is made of stainless steel and is entirely polished. On the overall, it has a minimalistic Bauhaus look. And for the price, I am amazed that it comes with the flat sapphire crystal. The watch has a snap-on case back with some typical engravings and it is only rated to be water resistant, so it's best not to get it wet. The watch has a minimalistic silvery white dial that has some fine texture on it. Let me just try to zoom in so that you can get a better look at it. The baton hour markers look like they are applied on and it has a small second dial at the bottom. The hour and minutes hands are highly polished but I wish that they were a little longer. The small second hand is red which gives the monochromatic dial a little pop. The Casio brand and Sapphire is printed. This watch is powered by a Casio 4328 quartz movement. It has an accuracy of plus minus 20 seconds per month and is powered by an SR621SW coin cell battery that should last about 3 years. The watch comes with a blue leather. I think the leather is pretty generic. It's something you would normally find on an analog Casio watch. This is how the watch looks on my small 6 inch wrist. I think it looks good but maybe a little on the larger side. It would be great if it's either 36 or 38 millimeters. However, it does really look very nice in my opinion. This is something I would recommend everybody to get whether if you are a watch enthusiast or not. This in my opinion has better value than some of the overpriced and poorly made fashion watches out there. I got this for about 58 US dollars on Amazon and I am really amazed by it. You are getting something from a reputable watch company with proven history and the companies also make one of the best quartz watches in the market. Alright, I guess that's it for this video. If you're new to my channel, please help by subscribing to my channel. It does help me a lot. And you can also follow me on my Instagram at gfw underscore watch for more watch pictures. Till then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.